I visited my brother Eddie at home New Year's Eve. He was there, which was unusual, considering most times he was off and away somewhere, always doing something. He sent a message a week before, Merry Christmas to you and your family, Mark. But in that chaos of that New Year's Eve, we were able to sit quietly together before the others got there. Ed had his own unique way of doing things, so it wasn't surprising our conversation was somewhat one-sided, intuitive, and challenging. He laughed, joked, and loved as we all do, and in spite of our faults or regrets, any judgments and criticisms were irrelevant today. If he knew our Eddie, the Eddie we all missed, he seemed full of energy and purpose. Born and raised in Minersville, Pennsylvania, Schuylkill County, he was particularly proud of the coal region and our cultural heritage. Like our father, Ed possessed an animated, direct demeanor that was at times hilariously entertaining. <laughs> a caring outlook, he was willing to help anyone at a moment's notice and held a compassionate place in his heart for all kinds of animals. If he put his mind to it, as he proved many times, anything could be accomplished. An incredibly skilled hard worker and mechanically inclined, he was able to operate just about any piece of heavy equipment. This served him and others well, especially when he went into the military. He went to basic training at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, and in his 22 years of service, learned and earned a number of military occupational specialties while stationed with many different units. He was part of the 337th Combat Engineer Battalion in Hazleton, the 228th out of Pine Grove, deployed to Germany, and the first of the 104 Cavalry deployed, de deployed to Egypt as part of the Expeditionary Combat Aviation Brigade and multinational forces. Awarded multiple reserve component achievement medals, Army achievement medals with Oak Leaf Cluster, National Defense Service Medal with Bronze Star for heroism and achievement in military operations, the Global War on Terrorism Service Medal, Global War on Terrorism Expeditionary Medal, and completed his military career as a Sergeant First Class. Battlefields aren't always in some faraway land against an enemy's invading force. Unfortunately, some of the most intense struggles are wars that occur within us. Life experiences shape, shatter, and transform all of us in profound ways, and terrible trauma, loss, and unbearable grief is something none of us escapes. So, sitting with my brother on New Year's Eve, and beside myself, fragmented and wondering how we got here. I could only relay the shell of it all. It's a story known intimately by anyone who has experienced such a loss, a feeling we wish no one else would suffer. When I came to see Eddie that day, he was there, but gone away. He was already home. 